everybody. Welcome to a new episode of the Dragon's Lair. Um, before we get started, I do want to explain that I have been very busy. Sorry for that I haven't posted anything at all on any of my social media for over two weeks. Yeah, two weeks it's been. Because I've been um, doing temporary um, photography. I was hired for um, to be the photographer for the Easter Bunny at the mall, so I didn't pass up the opportunity. I took it, so I've been extremely, extremely busy. And I got one more, well, I got three more days on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then I, I leave again. I leave for NorwestCon, which I'm hoping to do more videos than I did what last year. I did what, one in my hotel room? I plan on doing more. So, um, but down, um, I am very sorry. I apologize. I, by the time I got home, I didn't really want to look at a computer or a camera or anything. So, um, so what else? Oh, um, if you've been following me, you know that I am, I, I do videos each week. Mostly on unboxing videos of different products um, and things. Um, if you like my videos, hit subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Because the more likes I get, um, I'll probably be able to get um, these products that I, I personally pay for to sponsor me. I'm hoping to get sponsors. I'm almost at 10,000. I don't know when sponsors start looking at you but I I think I just hit the 9,000 mark so I tend to get a lot of people when I do my videos and my blogs because I mentioned my videos on my some of my blogs um, and other social media aspects that I belong to um, but today I'm gonna be doing three videos sorry three videos separately and the first one I'm going to be doing is the Dungeon Crate. It, because I have three right here. And I'm still waiting for one. I'm still waiting for the Witch Box. Um, I've emailed the guy. I emailed the person on Etsy. They've emailed me back saying that they're working on it. They're going to um, hopefully send it. But then they hurt their hand doing something. So I emailed them about that. And to see to see what's happening, I'd like to get that and see what, what the products are like for the, um, for the, from that. So, um, other than that, let's do the unboxing of the Dungeon Crate. Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box for um, tabletop gamers. You get a lot of cool stuff in each box. I. I've been subscribing to them for a month and a half now, or a year and a half, sorry, a year and a half, and I think I was disappointed, not in the whole box, but just in a couple of the items, but I think I've used, I started a new game on Sundays at our ga local gaming store and my group, and I've actually used a lot of the stuff that I get in these boxes. They're great, um, they're fun, and they're very useful. So, Dunge and Dungeon Crate is a $35 monthly subscription box. I don't remember what it comes to with tax and everything. So, but this is how you get it. And most people don't like looking at these um, dungeon these inserts telling you what's in the box. But it actually helps. And the cool thing is, is that these, these are tiles. You can use them for your game. And I have. I've actually... Um, connected them together at, uh, at the beginning of my thing and showed them okay this is this is the road I use these I use this for a road in a town because it was like a nice rich expensive fluffy floofy town so they had the nice cobblestone or nice roads dungeon tile roads so and you always get a featured item which is cool the featured item is a D20 shot glass dice roller. And we'll start with that. When I got the box, I looked in it really quick to see what was all in it. 
So, but I didn't take it, didn't pull anything out or open it. So, I mean, everything still sealed, was still sealed. So here's the shot glass or the D20. I don't know if I'd use this as a, a as a dice roller. It's glass, and I have a dice I have a dice cup for my with my dice tray. So I mean, but this is cool. This will probably go with my um, shot glass collection that I get that I have. I it's not really a collection. There are a bunch of different shot glasses from different taverns in Rena at Renaissance fairs or um, at Vegas casinos. I have one from um, Excalibur, which is, I think, the only one I have from Vegas. But the other ones are from um, my Renaissance Fair, the different pubs. So, I mean, so I'll, I'll probably add this to my collection. I do like it. It's got a cool D20. Um, that, or I can actually put it with my D20 mug. I actually have a mug with a D20 on it, and it's white, too. So, I mean... They have a shot glass and a and a drink in a mug, which is cool. Sorry, I my mouth is getting dry. I probably should be drinking water instead of Coca Cola. But okay, next item is I have these. I have I finally got new glasses, and I still can't read jack shit. I have an extra pair because these ones don't have the. I have. I don't need bifocals. I need lenses that. Well, I guess they would be bifocals, but they're the blended bifocals, and these ones don't have it. These are just the single lens. So. Okay. Next is the Barbarian Mini. I don't know why they're not doing um, getting Reaper. The uh, Reaper. It's got like some of the best minis. They've like become the mini expert on um, for gaming. Um, unless you th 3D print your own miniatures, which I think this is a 3D print. Yeah, Omaha3dprints.com, Barbarian with Sphere. So let's open this. There's the tab. Ah, it's on the label. Okay. It's kind of cool. Oops. Let's see if I can focus. I really need a better camera, but I've used this. I've used this one so long. It's like okay. Sorry, didn't if it's not focusing. I wish the camera on the computer was working, but it's not. So, but it is a cool miniature. Unfortunately, I don't have any barbarians in my game at the moment. I do have a cool character, a character that my next door neighbor's son made. That he, he plays in my game. Um, he's a barbarian um, dragonborn. And it's a, he's actually pretty cool. It's actually a really interesting character. He has a fun background and everything. And you know what? I may actually make a video or a or a podcast. I can actually do my... I can actually figure out what to do on my podcast. Even, even though I've only ever done one. But the podcast I can do talk about my game. Sorry for all the tangents. That's how my, my gaming group does goes. Okay. Dungeon Create Exclusive D20 Inspiration Token. Cuts and Burns. Okay. That's this one. Comes in a green bag because this is for March. This is March's um, Dungeon Crate. I forgot to mention that. So you get a shamrock that says Inspiration. And the cool thing is, is I don't have an extra D20. You put the your D20 right in the center, and you just place it while you're not while you're not using it. And it for gaming luck. For anybody that games knows that you have a set of lucky dice, and when they're not working, you put them away for a while, and then you get another set. You have your second set. That's why gamers have so many dice dice sets. But this is cool. I'll actually use this. I'll probably use this when I'm when I'm playing my characters and not as a GM. So I mean, okay, what's next? Next is a polyhedral dice set in lucky gold bag. Okay, so here's the dice. I'm probably not going to open them. Everybody, anybody that's following watches this video probably games, and if you don't, 
you have seven set of dice. You have a you have a D D three or D you have a D four D six two D ten. You have a D twelve uh, and a D twenty. So and the D ten the two D tens make the seventh dice. Yeah. Oh, there's the other D10. Okay. So there's the dice. They're kind of blue and goldish. So that's kind of cool. So and they come in a little zip bag. Um, what's next? Next is character sheet mini notepad. Ah, yes. This actually looks kind of cool. If you ever want to travel, if you ever travel and want to run a game and don't want to bring a bunch of stuff. You have a notepad with character sheets on it. Miniature character sheets, just basic character sheets. And you can do one-off games. Like if you're your time off at the when you're doing the Renaissance Fair, we, we game or we do cards for against humanity, which has some interesting combinations when you're working with Rennies. But I mean you can run a one-off game one day just to kill time, and you just have the people write up characters on this. Which is cool. And there's a lot of them, so. Okay, I'm really liking this box completely. Next is... It came from the stars. Second level adventure. Okay, so. It came from the stars. There we go. It came from the stars. So this is a second level adventure. It's in, a, in book form. So it's a little longer than the most one-shots. This may take like a couple, like maybe two sessions, depending on how long you play. My gaming group usually plays from 1 o'clock to about 5.30 5 to 6. So, yeah, we play about maybe six hours on a Sunday. Because even though a couple don't have, have any work, but a uh, few of us do on following Monday and my neighbor's son has school so yeah we we don't play we don't do the long sessions we just play for like five hours maybe six if I can get them to start at two at noon or one we play until six so I mean but this looks cool you get maps of the of the adventure inside where everything is kind of looks like clue uh, Then you get the character, the NPCs, and the monsters. So these are cool. I actually may take this one and the and some character sheets, and maybe I may actually run a game this year at Norwestcon. I've usually only played in a few games. But I'm usually busy at NorwestCon because I'm a photographer and I volunteer at the, in security. So, I mean, I do a lot. I'm busy. Even at conventions when I'm on vacation, it's still a working vacation. I can't get away from work. I guess that's part of being a freelance photographer and journalist. So, I mean... Okay, next is... Dungeon Crate Exclusive Magical Item Stat Card and Character Stat Card. Okay, so that's the... There's still quite... There's still about four or five items left in the box. So here's the magic item. Alexandra's Toolbox. It's a rare item. So... Oops. Sorry. Didn't mean to throw it. And then Void Revenant. Neutral Evil. Ooh, I actually may use this this tomorrow in my game because they're going to be wandering the wilderness and the desert area or the wilderness of my my world, which is kind of set up almost like Earth, but um, different continents. But there is there is a set of colonies over in the um, northeast or northwest. 
north, east, west, south. North, s south, what? South, nor north, south. Yeah. Right, no. no. Sorry. Northwest. Wow, I really need to get some sleep, too. Sorry about that, but northwest. Um, as soon as I can get my um, World Anvil all worked up and stuff, I need to figure out how to do half of the stuff, like to make the character or the NPCs and stat cards and everything. I'll actually have a link to it at some point. But it does have my world, and you can see my world. It's called Dell. It's just the, it's the name that popped in my head at the time I was creating, and I go, okay, that works. Um, but there's a whole, I wrote a whole history. I have a, a handbook of uh, what um, most, what movie and TV shows called um, Story Bible. I have two, I actually have two of those, one for the gamers and one for me, because there's a lot more notes that I don't want the gamers to know, my PCs, so I mean, but sorry, more tangents, I may be the cause of the tangents in the gaming group, wow, okay, next is a Dungeon Crate exclusive Revalo's Guide to Hunting Mummies, okay, that must be this, Revalo's Guide, it's a, okay, not much of a guide, but okay. To hunting strange beasts. So that's kind of cool. I may use that. Not this land, but I may use the concept. Actually, it looks like a pretty cool concept. Um, oh, it looks like they have a, a little piece for... Pathfinder, and then a little piece for 5e. That's cool. Okay, so they have a little note if you're playing Pathfinder, and then a little note on the on the concept uh, if you're playing 5e, D&D 5e, and then the whole thing. So it's compatible to Pathfinder and um, 5e. Which, a lot of these are. I don't know if the stat cards are because they only have 5e stuff on them. But, I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't be that hard to adapt them to Pathfinder. I played Pathfinder once and then uh, and then COVID hit. So, we never went back to it. But I have a really cool multi-class character. So, I'll talk about that on another time, too. Okay, and then the extras. We have... Is that it? That is it. And another cool thing is after the box is empty, the boxes are reusable. I have every single box, and I have stuff in them. I have, like, bunches of dice, miniatures, um, stuff that I'm not using can go in there. Um, pins, buttons. I have, I have a large geek pin and button collection, so they can go in there. And I think I used last month to put all my badge collection because I collect different badges, which is cool. Um, okay, sorry. So Drakkar's Doll, it's a level levels five through ten. It's like little side quests for your adventure, which is the free gift, which is an extra bonus. Um, cool dragon sticker. I'm always happy about that. And a dragon tempor temporary tattoo. And the funny thing is, is as much as I love dragons, as you can see, my dragon shelf, which is completely full, or my support for the Targaryens. Um, and then my house banner is actually a dragon. So, um, much as I love dragons, I don't ever think I would ever get a dragon tattoo. I have tattoos, but I mean, I don't think I'd ever get a dragon tattoo. Even though dragons are very personal to me, and I love them, I collect them. But I think the keep it personal and not display it everywhere. I think it would have to be not. It wouldn't have to be a tattoo. So, but I could always change. That was my thinking back 
in my 20s and 30s when I got my first tattoo in my 30s. So I mean, which is the um, Templar Shield with the um, the Spear of Destiny, or it doesn't really look like the Spear of Destiny. It more looks like the um, Spear of Lu, the Celtic God. But it's either one. It was supposed to be originally the Spear of Destiny behind the Templar Shield. So I mean, with, the, with and it's got a scroll scroll under it saying um, Guardian in um, Celtic. So I mean, the other is the Lady of the Lake coming out of the water holding Excalibur, not upwards but downwards. Um, and then the, I have a few more, so I mean, but I'll talk about those later. I did not need to talk about those during the unboxing of Dungeon Crate. But, let's see. A lot of people go, th go through and t talk about what they vote, what they had. So we have, we have an NPC, we have a magic item, we have an adventure, we have an extra, um, side quest adventures um pack of pc or character sheets the card insert with the tiles an extra advent site another set of side quests the dragon sticker dragon tattoo the inspiration d20 holder which i need to put back in the bag um a 3d printed um barbarian from um, Omaha3dprints.com, and I'll put their link down below. And then a set of um, blue and gold dice, and a D20 shot glass dice roller. So that's actually a lot of stuff you get for 35 bucks. And to me, it's worth it, because there's a lot of gaming stuff in here that's very useful, as I said at the beginning of the video. I use a lot of this stuff in my games, so none of a lot of it doesn't go to waste. And the box is very useful because it looks like a little dungeon or a little crate. I mean, like you open it up, you can find gold. Ooh, which is a good idea. Put a bunch of I can like fluff it up and then throw all my gold coins because. Uh, my D and D game gaming group actually, when they want to buy something, they actually use um, gold coins or silver coins or platinum coins or copper coins. I act, they actually get them the amount that they have, and when they find more, I give them more. So they actually use I actually use role playing um, props in my game. So that's it for the dungeon crate. If you like this video, like I said, hit subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends. Sorry it's a little longer than normal for an unboxing. I went off on a lot of tangents. I understand that. But as gamers, you may understand tangents are part of gaming. You come up, you deal with something in your pe in your in your pe playing world and you go, "Oh, hey, yeah, do you remember that video?" and it's like then the whole group goes off on tangents. My group is notorious for that. So, I hope you liked this video. Um, it's a little brighter than I normally it normally is. I've got I got it kind of fixed, but um, enjoy and check out my other videos. So, have a good day.